Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FTB Skies, where in the last episode we set up all of that. Yes, we now have power generation, green energy, as they say, wind generators, solar generators, and redstone furnaces, which in fact, my tin and gold is now finished. And that is going to be one of the things that we do today. I'm going to set up a drawer system right here for some of the things that we use quite often, such as ingots, redstone, well, redstone's already over there, but like ingots and stuff like that. And it is going to be connected to our storage setup. My intention today is also to explore that village because in the last episode as well, we made the stone jetpack. We just need to upgrade it all the way to the emerald tier so that we are not going to run out of power anytime soon because just like this I'm using quite a bit of power like a thousand death fee every two seconds or so yeah I just don't want to run out so I'm gonna take this off we're gonna be upgrading this as we go along but first I think I really want to upgrade this area uh, move the furnaces over and do some other things like that also we will be moving into digital storage at some point uh, but for now this still works just fine so First things first, I'm going to be needing another redstone furnace, which I'm not gonna allow you to sit through because we did that last time. Oh yeah, by the way, it appears that this guy has had a change of heart because now... Okay, before he only... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a moment. Got it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have an Elytra. Can I buy more? I mean, it would be stupid not to buy more, right? We have plenty of emeralds. When is he gonna run out of stock? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, three. Three Elytra, yes. Before, when I checked earlier what I was planning in today's episode, yeah, he only had the diamond, but he... Okay. That That's cool. You're cool now. That... Okay. We could fly if we actually had any fireworks, but that's awesome. I'm thinking putting redstone furnaces like so. We'll have direct power from that probably under the ground up to these furnaces like so. Um, and then I think, do I have any drawers whatsoever? I have one. Question is, can I make some? Uh, how many can I make? Let's make like, I don't know. Eight apparently is good. Yeah, that's another thing. We're gonna set up a wood farm today and hopefully that is going to be a fairly simple process. Um, actually, I will remove this and place that here because we are going to be needing another storage controller. So we can get rid of this. And yeah, so I need, I need more quartz, which I'm pretty sure I have right over here. Yep, we do indeed. And also, by the way, this island will be built up at some point. Currently, I'm just slapping everything down wherever I can find space, but we will actually make this island look pretty in the near future. Again, like I said in the last episode, be sure to join my Discord server so you get notified when I go live. I'm considering doing it on Twitch, so be sure to go ahead and follow me on there as well, just to be sure. All right, storage controller made, and I will of course be needing my linking tool. Just like this, yes indeed, and lock, and I don't think I'm gonna need a lock. So add all of these in, and then behind it, all we need to do is do the same like we did with the chests. We need an item interface, connected to the storage controller. Again, we get a double, I don't know what these are used for. Um, I don't know what they're used for actually, but then we can connect it just like that. I don't know if we could potentially connect the furnaces and do something with that, but for now, this is fine, and I'm just gonna add this stuff back in. And now I can go ahead and take anything that has the name Ingot. I can basically take it out and I can give it a home. So I want iron there, gold there, uh, tin can go here, copper can go in the corner, osmium here. And I think I'm gonna move the diamonds over. Well, I'm not gonna move anything over, I don't think, because I might as well connect that to the system, if I'm being totally honest, because I think that would make sense because that way I would have I would be able to access like exactly diamonds emeralds that kind of stuff directly from this so that means I just need to make a little bit of a tunnel I got a stick stick it to the man now about to the lava there we go 
<laughs> I'm very evil towards these decks. Oh, right. I need to do that behind it then. Yep, looks like I got a little bit of picking work to do. All right, add this here, add that, lead it all the way down. And nope, not all the way actually, because this was just so it could actually fit underneath it. And then if we go like this, I think I have enough cable. Connect it like that, we should be connected to the system. So now we should be able to see 112 diamonds in the system. Hopefully that is going to be working just fine. Let's take a look. Diamond. Yep. Exactly 112 diamonds, which shows that that is working perfectly. Pretty cool stuff. Not gonna lie. That will get patched eventually. So that's cool. That is actually pretty awesome job right there. Next thing that I want to do is set up a tree farm and I'm actually following the video by Vlofest. Hopefully I'm saying the name right. Link down below in the description and I'm following that setup because I actually do really do like it and it looks very simple and neat. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. It should be pretty simple to make. It looks in a way. However, we just need to make these things right here. So we're going to be need a few machines Tata as two droppers. I'm getting, you know, you're very cool and all. Yeah, but you're also very, very loud. Very quite loud, actually, which is, uh, let's do that. Yeah, hopefully he counts as that. Uh, <laughs> we need an item collector, first of all, which means we're going to be needing a couple of hoppers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a recipe I forgot. <laughs> There we go, do that, and then a flint block. Well then. And I have apparently a stack of gravel. Well, I should be getting nine flint pretty easily here. And flint block has been acquired, which means I should be able to do this. Perfect. Next thing, we are going to be needing some seeds. I think three... Yeah, let's do six, because what we can then go ahead and do is after we actually have a little bit of mana going. I just need some coal to fuel this stuff. A ten is fine. So let's get some mana flowing because I should be able to um use the wheat seeds with this. Oh we need an alchemy catalyst. Mana pearl. Uh hmm Okay, yeah, when, uh, right, basically, I need to make this, the planter upgrade, which can be made either like this or like this, and that requires me that I either get carrots and potatoes or pumpkin seeds and melon seeds, which I don't have either of those, so I need to see how I can actually manage to get these. I can get, ah, yeah, market. Market is going to be the easiest thing for us to get, uh, for us to do, I'm pretty sure. So if we just go ahead and get a little bit more uh, wood for the last time, we are making it doing this manually. This is literally going to be the last time I'm hoping anyway. Uh, yeah, let me just do this. Let me get like half a stack or so. All right, need a red wool and then we are ready to do this. One red wool, then mark it, and then just with a couple of emeralds, with a couple, I mean a stack. No, we don't need a stack. Oh, oh, that's true. I, I heard the sound and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> right. I'm going to buy I, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. And I'm also going to buy this just so that we have it. I uh, don't think I'm going to keep you around, buddy. So you're going to disappear just like that. And I'm going to add this to our system here. All right. So now I'm going to be needing this, uh, which means I need the upgrade tool. Which means this thing right here. If you hold down shift and right click, we can make, like, it'll uh, go through all the different kind of tools from pedestals, which is actually kind of neat, actually pretty cool. If I go ahead and do this, so I need three of those if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that's that, that is that. Then we need the fertilizer. Then we need the chopper upgrade. For that, we are going to be needing an iron axe, so get this. And then the planter upgrade as well. Nice. 
I think we're almost there. We just need to make these work locations and work area. So if I just do this, get the work tool, then I should be able to go ahead and I think I need two of those and then one of and then one of this. There we go. <laughs> get rid of that. And I think this is everything that we need, except for I'm going to be needing a sapling. Oh, I could do mineral sapling. I could do mineral uh, sapling, actually. I don't know if it's going to work because it has the infused logs, but I th think we're going we're gonna to try. You know what? I will bring an oak, log, oak sapling just in case. We are definitely getting to the point where we need to very soon start to expand because we're almost, almost out of room. But I think this is just going to cut it. So let's put this here. Let's put this there. And then, so we're going to surround the pedestals by this two blocks in between. I don't think that actually matters. I think we can do it uh, closer. But considering the tree sometimes grows to there, let's just be on the safe side. Now, the item collector, if we place it like so, and we go in here and we do preview rendered all those cubes, that is the working area. So we can raise this, but also lower this if we need to. Uh, 9 by 9? 11 by 11, I think, is going to be fine. And height is going to be just this. That is fine because all the items are going to be dropping down. Uh, so it's going to pick up everything that is, uh, that is in front of it. I'm actually going to pick it up because I want to move it back one. And yeah, 11 by 11. This is going to be the inventory. We can pipe that out. Speaking of which, I'm probably going to have to get rid of this bench. Didn't really want to, but I think it is necessary, unfortunately. So we need to put these to good use. So fertilizer in here, planter in there and chopper. Uh, upgrade in there and now they need work areas or what does that say work locations and we should be able to use these um, so work locations that is for this and for this so I think all I need to do is right click this and then put it in the offhand and put it in there right do the same thing here right click this Put it in offhand and add that to this. Now, this just needs a working area. I'm seeing something happening. Maybe it doesn't work with a mineral sapling. I don't know. Maybe the tree is in the way. You know what? The tree could actually very well be in the way. Now that I see that branch. Um, could move it over here. Yeah, you know what? Moving it over here might actually be a better call. Okay, so I moved it over and the tree just grew. And this is why I'm pretty happy that I'm waiting for this because I'm going to be needing to set the work area from this. So uh, this just picked up that log, by the way. So if we right click from this, uh, shift. Okay, yeah, shift, right click that, that is point one. Then I need to actually equip this, fly to the top and shift click here. That is point two selected. And so all I think I need to do now is put it in offhand and do this. Work selection is invalid. Uh, that is odd. Ah, he even said it in the video as well. The area of uh, the working area has to be within the pedestal working area, which means we might have an issue with those trees. Um, question is if I can cheat it a little bit if I go ahead and add this and then go ahead and dig down until we see the red border right here and then add a dirt block and then if we just chop this away for now because if I add that dirt block you would think that that means that the tree won't grow beyond that and I hope that there's actually small enough trees for that to happen. Just gonna dump all of this right now. Yep, so what I need to do is break this actually. Uh, take this back, place this back in offhand. There we go. So, uh, can't, okay. 
clear. So if you want just want to clear it, hold down shift and then right click the air. So point one selected. And then get out. And then if I take this out, point two selected. Whee! And then catching. Maybe. Okay, that chopped it all. That is gone. I except for this. Um I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, and it's not replanting it, which is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of supposed to replant it. <laughs> well, I'm done. I just need to right click the sapling that it actually needs to place down. And I think this should be the setup completed. I think. Maybe. Potentially. There's no longer white particles. Maybe I need to actually only give it one. So now there's white particles. Now there's no longer white particles, meaning it's not working, I assume. So maybe it doesn't take that. Oh. Ah, interesting. So it's only chopping. Okay, so the mineral tree does not work. That uh, That's... Basically that simple. The mineral tree just does not work for this. Uh, let me just go ahead and get rid of all this. Get the jetpack back. The jetpack is actually very useful. Now that we have it, I just can't stop using it. So get rid of all that. Get rid of this as well. Yeah, the mineral tree is not going to work because of the enriched uh, stuff and the weird sizes of it. But I'm pretty sure this should work. I am apparently very, very dumb. Uh, find the mistake. That's the fertilizer thingy. Give me that. <laughs> it's supposed to go there. There we go. That's better. We could give this bone meal as well for it to actually bone meal the tree, but I'm pretty sure this should work just fine. I'm just gonna wait and see for it to actually grow. We also need to set up a. Yep, there goes. Pop, places down, works perfectly. So now, eventually I'll just need to have this, uh, keep this uh, stocked, but that should be easy. So if I just take all this out, let's take all of that out, add it to our storage system, and this should work flawlessly. I just need to give it a little bit of storage. Um, do I do drawers or do I just add, a, add one big chest to it? I think for now I'm just going to use uh, the pipes right here. I'm going to upgrade this chest to an iron chest. All I'm going to be needing now is going to be a wrench. And then just set this to output and that should take all the stuff in here. I could add it to drawers as well, uh, which uh, to, to be fair it would be a little, looking a little bit nicer. But it would kind of obstruct this as well. And yeah, I, th I think this is fine. I think this is fine. We could minimize the setup as well, move these in, I'm pretty sure. Move this closer, of course, now that we're doing oak saplings. But you know what? For now, this is fine. Again, like I said, this island will be decorated at some point, And then this is not going to be an issue whatsoever. All right, just before we go ahead and make the jetpacks, I'm going to make the backpack right here. Just because I think that is going to be useful once we start going to the villages. And I'm pretty sure I can add it to... Apparently, I can throw it on the ground. But I'm pretty sure I can put it to... Yep. Yeah slot backpack right there question is what is going to be the controls for the backpack open backpack that is b that's definitely not the backpack <laughs> i i really love this mod though that you can actually go ahead put in key b and then see what is actually going to even though this is not right whatsoever nope 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 nope, nope. that's not what i wanted to do okay key binds key b not bound. I think it says that it sees the B and not bound. That's annoying. Um, build guide. I don't need that. That might be the only one. Cycle down. Don't need that one either. So yeah, if you have interfering things like this, this mod is really, really cool. Don't need that either. Open satchel is probably fine. And I think that is going to be it. Open backpack. Quick access. Don't need that either. Let's see if that works. Yep, pretty cool stuff right there. Right, can't sleep yet, but we're going to be going ahead and make 
the iron jetpack now because we have the stone one we just need to upgrade it however we do need these advanced coils now which is uh just made like this so that is easy enough i need to get like 11 of these i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken apparently i am out of sticks i'm used to uh what's it called stone block three where i had just things set to auto craft and i wouldn't run out of sticks and things like that <laughs> kind of miss that anyway we have that now so i should be able to make one yep. two three four five get rid of this then make this make another one and then make the capacitor and with that should be able to get the iron jetpack okay that's iron done now i just need to go ahead and make the gold one as well which is exactly the same recipe so i'm just gonna keep going ahead and doing this until oh yeah i'm out of gold now okay, i'm gonna keep doing this until we finally have the stuff that we need to make the emerald jetpack I thought while we are waiting for the gold to smelt, I might as well go ahead and make some diamond armor. And I'm starting to get a bunch of stuff in the thing, so that's cool. Um, also, a zombie just came out, and now his flesh is in that drawer. So that's that's wonderful. <laughs> but let's gear up fully equipped with diamond armor and also diamond tools. I'm pretty sure there is a Paxel. Which I think, yeah, that might actually be worth making. Let's go ahead and make the Paxel while we're waiting for some of the gold to, to spell. Yeah, I don't think we can actually use, use tools, which kind of sucks. Um, how is it like that? Nope, like this. Oh wait, yes we can. Sick. That's actually awesome. Now I just have one tool to worry about. That's pretty cool. We're out of power because I forgot to <laughs> lead power to them. That's fine. I think we have enough gold for this because I don't actually need to make the advanced coils for the other ones. I just need to make these and then we're going to have to make ultimate coil and elite coils. Would you look at that? All right. Golden capacitor. Then this and one more. Except that I'm missing a furnace and I'm throwing things all around. That's not ideal. I'm missing one more. Then, there we go. And with that, we should be able to make the gold jetpack. So that can hold actually 10 million FE. We could easily uh, stop there. However, I want to keep going. Also, there's a loot B. Where's the, where's the loot B? There's the loot B. Give me loot, please. <laughs> I want all the loot I can get. This jetpack is definitely by far the most expensive. I am pretty sure about that. Th this is a lot of diamonds. Oh, I just made one too many. I made one too many. I made one too many. Oh dear, don't waste them. We do have plenty, but don't waste them. <laughs> All right, uh, what am I missing here? One more of these. There we go. Boom. Make the diamond jetpack. Add the gold one. And that is a diamond jetpack made that can hold 30 million FE. But I want to go one step further and actually make the highest tier possible, which is the emerald jetpack. I think it's the highest tier possible anyway. Yep, it would be. That's the tier five. That is the tier five right there. And that's just going to require a couple of emeralds, which we also have plenty of, which I'm very happy about. And this is going to be a walk in the park. So make five of these, just like that. And yes, I do need to lock the drawers over here. I uh, should have done that earlier, but yes, things are being added to it. That's not supposed to be there. And finally, we got the Emerald Jetpack. That can hold 48 million FE. And now before I forget, configuration tool. Get out, get out. Config. Uh, also, definitely get out. Lock, 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 lock. Good. So now I just need to charge this thing, because without a charge, I won't be able to use it very well. So add this to our battery. That is going to charge it very slowly, but definitely steadily. So I just need to wait for that to, uh, to finish, and then we can have a peek at this village. 
while the jetpack is just charging up, I have decided to link our furnaces right here to our storage net storage network. No power network, which this should be it right there. Um, may need to configure that to output. I don't know if it needs like uh, down power out or something. I'm going to take the jetpack out now. It's definitely not giving power, so I'm probably going to need the wrench. Or uh, you should have a wrench. You should have a wrench. Uh, th uh, yes. Nope, I need the one for mechanism. I need the one for mechanism. I forgot. Mechanism. Need this thing. Configurator. And I actually have the stuff for it. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Configure everything. Set this to output. And we are definitely drawing power now. Because these are all being charged and they con are continuing their smelting process. Perfect. That's nice. Why you... No. I want to make one more item. Because if we go in here and go into progression, there is this Eye of Legend somewhere out there. The Eye of Legend will help you find Sky Villages. See the chapter Sky High Delights for more information. Now, we already know where a village is. However, I do want to get this ticked off so this is visit a sky village that's one of the tasks that we need and then we need to actually make this uh thing right here and we'll get an unbreaking i don't even know what that is and a trader cause the tool to lose her ability at a slow rate yep very good because then we will get this unlocked uh upon entering the, the nether the eye of legend will automatically transform into the nether eye of legend which is really cool uh the eye of legend ooh. Okay, so I might actually make two of those. Hold up. That's a skeleton, and that isn't any normal skeleton. Whoa, okay, hold up. This jetpack is fast. I was just gonna... Okay, 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 okay. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. That... Yep, this thing is pretty... Pretty quick. Um, wow. <laughs> Emerald jetpack is cool. Very, very, very cool. Oh, now there's a creeper down there. Okay, well, what is the skeleton, though? I... Mm, okay, let's find out. Let's find out. We need to clear the area. We need to clear the area. What are you? What are you? What are you? Okay. Okay. Nope, that's not okay. That is not okay. Not okay. I'm very happy that I can fly, though. Okay, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Yeah, we need to make a mob farm eventually at some point as well. Please go away. Okay. Yep, you too. And a spot. Don't blow up my stuff. I don't like the fact that we have so many different creepers in the area. <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit creepy. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, there's another one here. However, you look normal-ish. A little bit loud you are, though. A little bit loud. What about you? Please, go away. Thank you. Now that I have some peace and quiet, I can actually go ahead and make this. So, it is four diamonds and I have ender, which we can make just like that. And apparently I only have one ender pearl, actually. So, yeah. I've made this, but we're not going to actually use it. Which means when we enter the nether... We will actually be... This will actually convert into what we need. So I'm going to put this safely in my backpack. And now that means we can fly up to... The Sky Village. A throttle set to 80%. We have plenty of power. And this is our first time stepping foot... Into one of these villages. Boom. Just going to lower the throttle. And in fact I'm going to disable the engine completely hey fellas we have a right oh hello yes hello i live on that island down there and doing weird things you must what must they think that i do down there okay this is some interesting loot i just went into the house that, that the guy just came out of looting three sweeping edge three teleportation attack damage attack speed really a, a lot of obsidian diamonds 
schematic, a variety of one's common belongs, since forgotten technique for making sword guards. Oh, that's from Tetra. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I just got stuff. Looting three. That's a good weapon right there. I'll equip that for sure. Right. Well, if that was just one... <laughs> if that was just one chest, what else do we have around here? Oh, wow. Refined glowstone chest plate. That sounds better than mine. Soul steel ingot. Solar gem. Again, another gem. Guys, please let me know what I can use these gems for down below in the comments. Light weapons. Apart okay. More tetra stuff. Glycerin chorus fruit. That actually sounds useful. Buddy, you are living life literally on the edge. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have two loot chests right next to each other. But first, eight armor, eight armor. Okay, the diamond chest plate is a little bit better because of the armor toughness, but I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Ooh, books. Okay, multi bow fires extra horizontal arrows from your bow. Augment bow, amplify, augment spells when you... Okay, that's the Arsenovu. Uh, luminous crystal shard. Infinity enchanted book. Two infinity books. That's actually good. And quick draw. Oh, we're gonna make a bow for sure at some point. Arcane sands, another one. Hey, buddy. Okay, the, the stuff here is actually really, really, <laughs> really good. Not gonna lie, there's another chest over here I just spotted. Let's see what you got in. In fact, we have two. What's this? Huh? Raw stuffed hotlet. Right. Well, that's not delicious. Anyway, uh, bone broth, tallow, another schematic, liquid meat bucket. Right. Ooh, energetic sheep spawn egg. I... Energetic black wool. What is this? What is energetic white wool? I probably wasted that. Don't know what it does. <laughs> Asnoble shards, raw mutton chops, liquid meat, chicken flask. Right, th this place, this place started off like really cool, but now things are getting a little bit weird. Ooh, broken spawner. Does that mean we can set up? Yep, that means we can set up a spawner, I'm pretty sure. Right, I'm going to have to start pouring some of this stuff into our backpack here, because, but yeah, th this place is starting to get weird. This place is starting to get weird. I will, however, eat a sourceberry pie. Because the more variety food I eat, the better it is for me. Because if we go in here, Master Chef, a diverse diet will a, div, a diverse a diverse diet will grant you bonus hearts. Use the food book to keep track of what foods you have eaten. So I'm actually going to take this because a food book sounds like a useful thing. 199 total foods. Interesting. Already tasted 12. So we can see in here what we have not yet eaten. Which is a lot of stuff. So that is very cool to have as well. Alright. I'm expecting good stuff in this chest. And I expect it right. Chocolate apple. That kind of does sound delicious. What's this? Bane of Illagers. Ooh, that's good to know. Or good to remember if we... Uh, Ever get to see any of those? Um, have I looted everywhere? I don't think I have. No, I haven't been over there yet. So this is just a normal chest right here. I mean, I will take it, especially because we have the Nutrurious Chicken Feed, which we can use um, to make, well, passive mob farm stuff, I'm pretty sure. Uh, feed to chickens. Yep, we could get a gold mag. That's good, because I already used mine. Uh, growth Serum. Sheep have a 50% chance to insta- Oh, that's for shears. That's cool. Don't know what- Hold on. Can we have sheep that produce wool that is technically RF? Is that what this is? 
I, I don't know what this is. Guys, please educate me down below in the comments. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff is. Um, but wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Did I? I don't. I didn't go down here, did I? Turn on backpack or jetpack. Anything here? Oh, there is stuff in here. My inventory is actually getting full. Believe it or not, my inventory is getting full, and I don't have space for all this stuff. Squid, squid ink pasta. That's a refined glowstone shield. I'll take that. Um, however, I may need to make a couple of trips because I can't actually fit all this on me. Um, maybe not all of that is relevant, but I'm sure... No, we're going to take all of it. I'm going to enable hover mode and we're going to hover back to my island, which is right over here. And I'm going to empty my inventories because we... That's scary. That's actually... Uh, that's scary. That's actually scary. Yeah, I did. I did. I didn't like that at all. That was not pleasant. Oh, I love this part of the village. I love this part right here, like the cartography table and then a globe like as a floor. Absolutely love that. Let's see. Oh, just a bunch of scrolls from Tetra. Now I use Tetra, so that is something that I have to look into. If I want to use that, uh, let's see, do we have any, no chests over there, no chests here, no chests here. I think this is the end of the line and all the loot that we're going to get from this place. All in all though, that has actually been pretty good. I'm just going to increase the throttle speed here so we can get back home. But yeah, all in all, that has actually been pretty successful. We got a bunch of obsidian, we got a new weapon, we got Tetra stuff, which I mean... I don't know how useful this stuff is, but I assume it is pretty useful. We got a bunch of enchanted books, which is cool. And a lot of other foods as well. So that, all in all, was a pretty successful mission, I would say. Now, with this obsidian, one could actually go to the nether, which would be pretty interesting. If we go in here and go to progression, this is the next step. And also, that is the next step for this one in order to take getting started off completely. So we're going to do that in the next episode. You'll have to wait for that. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this one. We also need to... I still need to figure out how to, like, automa automatically, like, um, smelt this stuff here. We need to generate some more power as well. Can't only be using windmills, I don't think. That won't be 100% ideal. So we need to figure that out as well. I want to go digital on the storage very soon as well. Because this, while it is cool, it is being a little bit slow and not as nice and yeah it needs an upgrade already <laughs> but guys i really hope you have enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you're new enable those notifications so you don't miss out on the next episode also be sure to join my discord server and follow me over on twitch because i will be doing base design or well base expansion not base expansion base building decoration and stuff like that on a stream i just haven't decided whether or not it'll be youtube or twitch yet so be sure to do that as well. Links down below in the description. But guys, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>